Okay, guys, uh, this is how the picture looks like um, before I um, I edit, or actually uh, uh, when I finally did my edits here. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and redo this again. So I'm going to hit reset. And it takes all my settings here down to zero. So the first thing I'm going to do basically is I'm going to adjust the levels here. So I'm going to go up to my exposure. I'm gonna punch. I'm gonna punch it down. Uh, yeah, it's a little too bright. Then I'm gonna punch up my contrast. I always like the high contrast. Uh, that looks just about right. And then, then I'm gonna take my highlights. I usually eyeball it. Now, if you want to fine tune it, you hover through the select uh, the adjustment, and then you can use your up and down arrows. On your keyboard, and it'll adjust to the the precise uh, settings you want. Just like the shadows, you can use your up or down arrows, and you can punch up or down. So I usually like to bring the shadows all the up, uh, so it'll clear up uh, your shadows mostly on the eyes. And then I'll punch up the clarity just a just a hairline, just a couple notches up. Some people dial up to the exact number. I just hover again over to the um, adjustment, and then I just use my keyboard. And I like to punch up the vibrance, so I want to add punch to it. And just the clarity, just a little bit down. Okay, now I want to punch up the saturation a little bit more, add even more punch. Boom, okay. Okay, let's see, okay, just punch up a little vibrance. Okay, I notice his face is red, and it's it's pretty much his pigment of the skin. So I'll bring the slider down, and then I'll just dial down on the red. Kind of eyeball it. Okay, he doesn't look that red, but, you know, he has a different color pigment of the bright. Okay, this is where it gets really, really uh, fine-tuned. So I got my adjustment. I look at the background. That's just pretty much what I want. Then I'm going to get the... I don't know what this tool is called, but I, call, I guess it's called maybe a vignette tool. And when I select the vignette tool, the first thing you want to do... Now, my adjustments are zeroed out. But let's say it's uh, your adjustments are... All over the place. The first thing you want to do, go over to the effects, double click on it, boom, it'll set everything to zero, it'll zero everything out. So I'll go over to my vignette tool, start drawing a circle, and what I want to do is I want to draw a circle around his face. So whatever I do on the adjustment, it's going to only uh, adjust within the circle not outside the circle and to do that see this where it says invert mask you click that now anything you adjust is going to be just inside that circle so I'm going to go into my uh, this moved a bit so put it right back in his face okay so I'm going to go over the exposure Okay, so let me repeat that. Click on invert mask, so now it's adjusting inside. So this has to be checked off. Excuse my uh, my previous statement. So this has to be checked off. So it's going to only adjust within the circle. So I punch up the exposure just a touch. I'm going to bring up the shadows. Notice his eyes are coming in uh, a lot clearer. Now, to me, a wedding photo is all about the face. You notice all the pictures that you see online, it's all about the face. Uh, that's the most important. You want to see the eyes, you want to see the shadows uh, taken up a notch so you, you have a clear, clear face. Make sure that your um, feather is turned turned pretty high uh, so that 
you won't see no edges when you make the adjustment. I'm going to bring the uh, exposure just a couple notches up. I like that. So instead of creating this um, this uh, vignette tool over again, circle or vignette um, tool, you right click on your mouse, duplicate it, and notice how his face becomes bright because it's doubling whatever you did. I'm going to carry it over now to the bride. And now you notice there's two of these circles. Now, so if you want to toggle be between these two, you click on the circle or the little dot. Now it's going to adjust his face more. So let's say I'm not, I'm not liking this. I want to adjust this even further. So what I'll do is I'll bunch of shadows a little bit more. I like that. It's fine. And now I'll jump over to the bright. Click on that little center button. And I'm liking that because her eyes are clear. Shadows of her eyes are not dark. Shadows on his eyes are not dark. You click done. Boom. Big difference. Uh, you can see their face a lot more clear. You can see her face a lot more clear. Now I'm going to create another vignette tool. Now notice the background here. It's a little blurry. I want to create more of a bokeh. You guys that are photographers, you know what bokeh is all about. Everybody loves that blurry, blurry background. Well, I'm going to create a, um, a more of a blurry background, but it's going to be done in Lightroom. So get ready, guys. This is it incredible uh, a technique that I use. I create one circle. Okay. Now again, I'm going to hover here. We want all these things zeroed out. So I'm going to create a long or actually a big circle. And what I'm going to do is I want to cover their whole body. Move that, move that vignette tool according to your preference. Now, this I want to have everything on the outside um, affected, not the inside, because this image is perfect the way I want it. Their eyes are clear, uh, Bert. Now I'm going to bring the clarity down. Notice it became blurry. Now, duplicate it. Boom. We got more of a bokeh, bokeh effect. So this way, this uh, a technique again is um, how do you say? Um, bringing, uh, bringing in a really, really blurry background, getting that bokeh effect. I can do it again, but again, I don't want it to look too um, how do you call it? Fake, whatnot, so forth. So. I like it. I'm liking that. I click done. So, big difference. So I'm going to just hit reset before and after. That was before. I'm going to hit undo on my keyboard. So, big difference, right guys? Okay. Now, I'm 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 wanting to do one more one more step here and I'm I'm liking this uh, background, the ocean, and it looks kind of green. I want to give a deep, deep uh, blue color of the ocean here. So I'm going to click on my brush tool. And then if you have a mouse, notice how that circle becomes bigger, smaller. So according to uh, how much area you want to cover. Then I'm going to uh, go to the uh, temperature. Uh, give it more of a blue color and I want to make sure that my um, I guess your automatic setting tool here has to be turned on this this guy right here so you don't go over your uh, or excuse me uh, your auto mask so that when you're let's say adjusting just the background of the uh, of the uh, water you see how you got that line there and that's signifying you know the guideline between the uh, areas it's not going to bleed over 
So if you stay within the line, now you click on your mouse. And it's blue, but it's not blue enough. So I'm going to go over here to my adjustment tool and I'm going to bring down the uh, exposure. And now we're getting a blue. Uh, bring it down even further. And basically just paint. So basically I'm painting the water. I'm going to go in here and zoom in. So now if you hold the space key on your keyboard, it turns into a hand. So you can actually move your photo where you want it. Let go of the space key or the space bar key. And it, it still turns it turns back into the paintbrush. So I'm going to go ahead and paint this water still. I'm not going to go over to her hair. So this one's a little bit slow. I'm going to zoom out now and take a look at my water from another angle. I'm liking that. Make sure that uh, we covered all areas here. Big difference, right, guys? Okay, and I'm pretty much. I'm liking the way that turns out. I think that's a foam. That's a white foam of the water, so that stays white. I click done here, and let's go ahead and take a look at before and after. That's before. Hit undo on my keyboard, that's after. Went from a bland picture to a romantic, beautiful, you know, uh, wedding photo. All right, guys, if you like this, just go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Uh, uh, you can subscribe. I don't create a whole bunch of videos. I felt that I needed to uh, create this video for you guys uh, that are photographers and uh, light rumors uh, so again thanks a lot and hope you like this video thanks guys